Hello. What's up? Long time no hear from. Oh, come on, it's been a week. Yeah. <laughs> I expect you to be reporting good news. Do you, you miss me? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's say that. Um, yeah. you've, I told you, you assume you've not played Ollie Ollie. No, I haven't, no. How is it? Game is a good game. It's really fucking good. I'm really enjoying it. It's like, um, first time I sat down and played it, I got really angry with it because the controls didn't like work with me. Like my, my fingers just were going, "What are you doing?" Um, but the more you play, it gets really good, and it does. It does like invoke those feelings that you got from playing the old Tony Hawk games. You know, where you just be like, "Shit, should I carry on this trick, or should I just bank these points that I've got, or oh fuck, I've hit a ledge or whatever." Yeah, it's really good. Really, is this, really this Ollie Ollie Two or the first yeah, one? Yeah, Ollie Ollie Two. Oh, I'm playing okay. on the PS4. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it, it, you know, it's not it's not one of the best games I've played, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I've also been playing GTA. Uh, you've got GTA Five, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, no, a heist come out. Yeah, I've, you see, I finished the main story of GTA Five, which was brilliant. Yeah, I was really good. did actually enjoy it. Yeah, but um, I've still got side missions and stuff to finish them. Well, uh, whenever I do. The, the, nightmare's over. The online not heists are just uh, fucking insanely good. Um, apart from like the 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 whole system is completely like fucked up. You got, you know, um, in normal games you have matchmaking and you know all mm-hmm. that sort of stuff. O- on this, it it tries to do everything through the open world. So one of you's got to go to your drive to your own apartment and start up the mission, and you can invite your friends and that's fine. But then if you've got like one space spare. It's not like matchmaking where someone in the world just hits search and it automatically drops you. You can only invite people in your open world or your crew. So it's kind of like, you know, if you crew, you have not to organize online, it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a big pain in the, a lot of time is spent in menus. Right. But the, 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 um, the one that we played, we had to break someone out of prison. And, um, first of all, you've got to go and get the stuff. So there's like set up missions. So, we had to go and get an aeroplane, a helicopter, and uh, something else. And then the last one is the, the basically there's four of you. It, it's basically Grand Theft Auto. Think of Grand Theft Auto where there's four of you all set off doing four different missions. And then it, they all the missions tie up at the end. So there was two guys went off to break the guy out of prison. There was one guy stealing the police bus, uh, the prison bus to make sure that it, you know, that they could switch the buses at some point, like someone else was switching the buses. Um, I was like flying a plane and as I was flying a plane, uh, someone else was jumping in a helicopter and taking out jets that were following me. Once they were out of prison, they'd broken out of prison. I'd just landed on the runway and they got on the plane and we drove off. It was just so good. It was, and it yeah, was, see, all of this sounds really amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, how, is, it really is. How, how long is each mission? Like, how long does it take you uh, to do all this stuff? Probably about uh, 20 minutes, I think. There's, they're, they're not long. Um, okay. 20, 20 minutes to half an hour. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there is the setup missions and stuff. So, like, all in all, it's, that does take quite a while, especially with all the shit in between with the, oh no, someone's dropped out and server issues and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, there was just this amazing moment where Matt was up in a helicopter looking down at, um, Chet and some other guy breaking out of this prison. Uh, as I was landing, they got on. I f- took off again with them and then Matt followed us in the chopper and then it all ended with us, um, with Matt having to land on the beach and the three of us having to jump out of the plane and parachute down. Uh, it was just, it, it was cool for us because we were doing it, but it was also cool for Matt that was watching it all come together below him. You know yeah. what I mean? So he didn't feel like left out. It was just, yeah, I mean, it's when it works, it's, it's the best, but like, it, it, it's really good, but I just wish it worked. And I think there's only five. One of them is, a two player only sort of tutorial one, which uh-huh. isn't brilliant. Uh, the other four, I'm sure, are great, but like, I don't know. I hope there's a lot more come out, you know, because I, I could see my, I could see me playing these a lot. If they, if, if they sort the server issues out, man, it'd be great. Yeah. You see, I, I need to, because I've, I've got a GTA 5 online character, but I've, I haven't played him at all. So it's not, because I have to be at a certain level, don't I, before I can play heists. Uh, right? Yeah. Level 13, I think. Have you played it online at all or not? Yeah, we played we played it online like ages ago. Like, well, when I say ages ago, a couple of months ago. 
Yeah, but you're probably and, not, uh, not level 13 yet. No, no, nowhere near. It's, um, I mean, how long would it take me to get to that level? Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Um, I mean, I was already like level 16, 17. Uh, mm. when I logged in and I'd I'd not played it online on the on the Xbox One yet, so um, yeah. What was with you, I, I started getting into like the actual GTA Online thing, and uh, the thing is, the systems are all there. Like, if I was to describe it to you, like for example, I had you know six hundred thousand uh, dollars, so I went out and bought a car, and then I bought an apartment, and then I bought loads of weapons and stuff. And then I went and styled my character a little bit, and you know my car is my car and every time i log in i've got that car that i've bought um yeah. and i've insured it so if it blows up like someone can blow it up and i'd have to claim back insurance it will cost me but then i'd still have my car um if you steal someone else's car and you're around the police they all come after you all that stuff is amazing uh but but yeah it's just it's a bit clunky in terms of it all fitting together do you know what i mean i yeah. think it tries to be too realistic at times um see i just remember when i played it like a while ago the online just didn't work that well well it, it was still all just a bit of a mess really, yeah. still doesn't that's the problem uh which is a shame because these heists man they're, they're fucking something else mm-hmm. really enjoy them uh have you played uh, anything else Monday. uh what have i played um apart from dark souls not really i mean that's the only thing i've really been playing this week cool i haven't had time well let's get to it then yeah, so, I, I, seeing as it's been a week, I'm assuming you've rung the first bell, right? You. Motherfucker. Uh, Go on. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I have made some progress, and I, which I was pleased about because I was starting to get really pissed off, actually. Where did we, and, leave, where did we leave off? We, we, where did we left, leave you? You, you? Oh, it was the whole kicking thing. Do you know how to kick yeah, now? Yeah, that I can do that now, although it still is a bit random. It's still not, doesn't feel completely like I've got it down. You but, killed the um, other boar. Yeah, I killed that one, yeah. and then and then, then you was, fell off and died, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, right, is I was I was getting quite irritated because you know you said there was another bonfire like yeah. further along. Yeah, there is. Well, yeah, I hadn't got to that, and every single time I tried, I kept on like dying, and I kept. Do you know? Do you know which enemy in that <laughs> game has killed me more than any other one? The is rat. that stupid twat on the bridge with the spear? You know the guy who's oh, you're like fucking kidding. He, he just just let him edge out towards you and kick him off. But it takes ages it for him to like edge to... along there, and it's like every time you die, you have to go through that. I get quite impatient and get kind of irritated. Yeah, you and can't then... get impatient with this game. <laughs> it's it's just can't. really really annoying, and I, I have died because of him probably about I don't know about thirty times or so. I think, Mostly because, I think he killed me once, James. Uh, he's really <laughs> irritating. So, and then what? What kept on happening is I got through him, and then you're like, okay, then there's those rats, and those rats are really annoying as well because you know they they poison you from time to time. Well, so, if, and it's if bit, you let them bite you, yeah, yeah, but it's a bit of a crapshoot, isn't it? Because it's like sometimes they bite you, it doesn't happen, but then sometimes it does. But then, so you get past that guy who's really irritating, okay. and then you get to there, and you're like, oh, "I've been poisoned. I might as well just jump off the side because I'm going to have to do this again now." <laughs> I can't and believe you're finding this bit that hard. No, it's just really irritating. Like you do that, it just gets really annoying because of the impatience. Because I'm trying to get through to the next bit. So anyway, I got through that, and then I went underneath, and then went around, and then came up the other side, and then I panicked a bit because it had those guys that have got the cloaks on. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, and the knights. Initially, I thought they seemed quite. They were difficult, but then actually, they're not difficult at all. Oh. They're quite easy as long as you just guard and then hit them on like the counter. They're fine. They, I took them out without any problem at all. Yeah. Then I went down and I pulled the um, you know, the lever, and then the gate came up, and then that obviously shortened the journey between the you know from the, from the bonfire to that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's a wicked little shortcut. Yeah. And then, but then the first thing is, is I went directly through there into what looks like a church or whatever <laughs> yeah. and there's that knight or whatever that huge guy sitting there and then it's there was a note on the floor saying look you know look up and so i walked out and then i heard like that charging sound like okay i'm walking backwards and there was like electricity came down or whatever so i was yeah. like okay that's they're trying to fuck with me with that aren't they so i walked in there and like, it was like i ran in there and then he came for me and i was like okay so i panicked and then i ran up one of the like the side like uh, 
stairs and that's <laughs> and the stairs, another guy <laughs> yeah. and then you go up there and there's tons of people yeah, up yeah. there and then i was like okay i'm, I'm screwed and then i died <laughs> and this was again all before getting to that next um bonfire so yeah. i'm thinking so i had to do this many times and i was thinking where is the king bonfire where is it and then it's because i didn't realize that it's it's to the side isn't it it's yeah, like you um, go right as you yeah. you can go right and that bit and there's two spear guys and then yeah uh, you walk down down but you Did see you... there was that bridge there you know there's like that sort of like wooden like bridge that goes across do yeah. you remember yeah yeah and you see the thing is initially i didn't go across that because i looked at that and i thought that's going to collapse or whatever if i walk across that <laughs> like, it, it's You're that kind of game. uncharted it's it's <laughs> no it's that kind of game where they're just going to mess with you you know or it's just like you walk across there and it's going to break and it's going to be, oh, oh you died. Ha, ha, ha. You know, I'm going to light this bonfire and suddenly set on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I get Something it. Something like that would happen. So yeah. I walked, I mean, so, but in the end I was getting a bit desperate. So I just ran across there. I was like, oh, it, it didn't collapse. It's just nice. And uh, yeah, then went down. But then I walked into the church from the other angle and then I got chased by that massive knight because he came running out. <laughs> and then, so I'm legging it down. You know, like there's a bit across where the bonfire, you know, to where the bonfire is. Yeah, yeah. And I was like running across that and he's behind me, like trying to hit me. And I got into there and then he, he, he ran away. And I was like, yeah, there you go. You know, <laughs> Like Benny Hill. You're not so scary now, are you? You know, that kind of thing. And yeah, it yeah. Was, um, so I got in there and I was, I was delighted because then like I went there. You freaked out like, by that, that noise as you're going down those stairs to that bonfire. Yeah, there's the, the blacksmith yeah, like yeah, boys. Yeah. And I was he like, oh. He is Andre and he is the best. Just remember <laughs> him because that motherfucker's going to help you out. Um, yeah, Andre, Andre is brilliant. Um, so he can reinforce your weapons and repair yeah. them and all sorts. So, yeah, keep, keep a, just remember where he is and how to get to him because uh, you'll need him from time to time. So I was absolutely delighted when I got there and found that there was a bonfire and the blacksmith. I was yeah, like, yeah. It's such a relief. Because I thought now, see, the thing is, is because I'm, I'm, do I have to go back now to that church and fight that, that thing? Because yeah. if so, how do I kill it? Because I, I, <coughs> I got into a fight with it and it was like, um, you know, if I, if I use my guard, it hits it and it just takes away the entire, all of the stamina and then you get hit again and then you're dead. How do I do it? Um, well, <sighs> It's, it, you've just got to be patient. This is, I think this was the first time where I had that feeling of going, no, I'm going to fucking take this guy on. Do you know what I mean? That was the first time I thought, I could do this. You know, um, and you can. I mean, he's pretty... I mean, he's challenging, but, he's, but you can do him. If you can do those n- knights with the cloaks on, it's yeah. it's kind of the same principle. Um, make sure... Like, he's a very slow mover, right? So he will give you a lot of tells before he attacks you. So don't necessarily just stand there and take it with your shield. You can edge around him so he misses and attack him from behind or get a couple of stabs in. You can back off. You can roll. Um, This one, I I mean, he hits hard, but he's slow. And -hmm. you can really take advantage of that. And it may take two or three attempts. But try and learn all of his move sets. So yeah. like, like, oh, if he, you know, moves his arm back and up, then I know he's going to swipe. So I've got to back off. But if he does, you know, he's got two hands on a weapon. Or I don't know. These aren't real tells, but it's this sort of stuff. Or if he's mm-hmm. got two hands on his weapon, he's going to try and stab me. And if he does that, I can just edge around and attack him from behind, like while he's recovering from missing me and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, he is very, very much uh, doable. I, I, I think, I think you, he's intimidating, but you can do him no problem. What I mean, if I kill him, is he coming back? No, I don't think he. Them? I don't think he respawns. I think you're mm-hmm. all right with him. Uh, no, the other, the other knights in that uh, is it the parish? They, 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 they respawn. Yeah. Um, the sorcerer doesn't upstairs. That's throwing lightning at you. And mm-hmm. the, uh, that, that black knight doesn't, but the, you've, what you've got to do is, is lead him out into an area that you can take advantage of. So, um, you know, as you, as you come out of the bonfire where you are now, you go across that bridge bit and yeah. then there's, there should be two guys to the left with swords and one guy to the right with, um, a bow and arrow. I think they yeah, might, yeah, yeah, I might, I think right. they might have spears to the left, but there's one. So, 
take out the guy with the bow and arrow, then take out the other two, and then just lead the Black Knight out towards that area and use. Yeah, I've, I've had him out there before. So yeah, yeah just, okay. just keep him there and and um, less blocking, more dodging on this one. I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. It should be all right. Yeah. So. Okay, so this this ringing the bell thing. Am I getting a little bit close then to that? Yeah, yeah, you're fucking right there, man. Like honestly, okay, you've absolutely. got um, you're going the right way. Uh, did you go downstairs? Like, where? yeah, I did. Because then I went to where it says there's a demon ahead, and there's that thing that's yeah. like you know down there, which I I went, I started fighting, and he he didn't actually. I mean, the thing is, is he wasn't actually that difficult in the sense that I didn't. I mean, obviously, I didn't kill him, but he didn't kill me either because it's really slow and didn't. You know, but it's just that my weapons weren't having any effect. So yeah, I don't problem, really know. The problem with that guy, he's, he's got a couple of moves that just wipe you out. And you mm-hmm. probably didn't, you were probably lucky enough not to see them. Um, yeah. uh, but you're not ready for him yet. We're, we're going to go, I'm thinking of taking you to the two bells directly first. And then you'll go down to the dark route after that. That's where that is. Because um, the thing is, is I went, I also went into the forest, you know, because I ran past yeah, him yeah. The and dark then route went garden, into the forest yeah. a bit. Yeah, and then because it had those like you know the the walking trees thing, which and they were easy to kill. Yeah, they weren't any problem. No, they're fine. But but um, yeah, okay. So you reckon I really need to go after that knight first, then? Yeah, and you've then got, well, you've got to take the knight because where you know where you went up the stairs mm-hmm. and there was that other dude there. That's the right way. Um, so you've basically got to go that way, and then you're basically at the next boss. Uh, which I'm not telling you about, and you you've got to have a yeah, few attempts right. before you can't just ring me up and say, oh, oh, there's I saw the boss once, and now I need help. You've got to give it a couple of goes before oh. you. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give Man that up because it's um yeah it's just oh, yeah. <laughs> what? No, no, it's just um I know. Once I got to that bonfire, that's when I began to feel like yeah I can get through this now. You know, once I got to the second one, because I was just like, "Yeah, this is this is easier now." Are you? Was, are you? Are you feeling this game? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I'm. It once I, you know, it's that kind of game where you can't really just sit down and play it for like twenty minutes or whatever. You have to sit down for like a while, you know, yeah, to yeah. sort of like get into it and mm. you know not be bothered about the fact that you're dying every five, you know, like every few minutes, sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's that. There's, there's that. I mean, I like progression in games. I like sitting down with my time and feeling that I've gotten somewhere. Yeah. When I've got, and this game does do that, but not in the same way as normal games do. Like, you know, I can sit down and play like a video game and and say, ah, oh, I saw this big chunk of story, or ah, oh, you know, I've I've played a few rounds of FIFA, or whatever. I, I enjoyed that. With this, it was more like. I would finish playing and then for the rest of the time until I started playing again was thinking, right, I should now, I didn't, that didn't work and this didn't work. So I should probably try this and this and this. And I would set like little missions for myself. So Mm -hmm. when I got hit, when I got in, I was like, right, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with that playtime. I'm going to try this with these, these uh, enemies. I'm going to try and go this way. I'm going to see what this does. Um, and I found that really satisfying, especially when you achieve like the goals that you wanted to achieve before you had to turn it off. Um, yeah, I mean, have you thought about it outside of these calls yeah, I mean, and playing? That, that's, I mean, that's why, like, this time, when I, because, like, when I played the other night, I just thought, okay, I need to find this next bonfire, because I, it's driving me crazy, and that's when, like, after I achieved that, I was like, I felt, yeah, that's why I felt good, so I just thought, yeah, this is, yeah, I can do this. But then, I also, I ran across, um, you know, there's another bit where there's, a, like, a huge gate and there's a guy sitting there just kicking back, not doing anything, uh, saying waiting for the gate to open. I talked to him, yeah, but I don't know, obviously, what's going on with that He's yet. He's a pretty cool character. I can't remember his name. Uh, Cat... Something Cata or something? I don't know. Okay. I can't remember, but Onion Head, that's, a, that's how I know him. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a dude. Yeah, that that place is uh, Sen's Fortress, which is um, your first... Cool. You know, I keep talking about these three acts. The way I see it, the first act is ringing the two bells. The second act is Sen's for- Fortress and Anna Londo. And f- um, the the third act is gathering the uh, Lord Souls. Um, and yeah, that that's the start of the second act. Uh, Sen's Fortress is probably one of my favourite areas in the game. But this is what this is what I like about it. Um, so many people hate that area. It's unbelievable. Um, like Blight Town, I really like that 
loads of people hate it. Um, there's areas of the game that you'll just have a connection with, and and people go like you'll go, oh, my favourite area is such as that. And people go, what the fuck are you talking about? Why? Uh, but yeah, Sense Fortress is fucking brilliant, man. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah, this game, this bloody game. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna push on, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping obviously by the next time I talk to you, I'll be able to ring that bell. That's I the, uh, hopefully if you do right, then excellent. But I think you might need help. <laughs> but at least give it five to ten attempts. Yeah. Like, do, do it to the point that you're getting frustrated. Otherwise, it's just you can't just use me. You know, I can't just be your uh, your game genie. Do you know what I mean? You need to. <laughs> you need to. I uh, thought. I thought of you more really as, as an action replay. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. an action replay that gets things wrong constantly. Yeah. <laughs> well, game surely genie. all you've got to do to hit someone is press the A button. What are you doing? Yeah. <sighs> well, you're hardly games master, are you? Let's be honest. A bit shit. Yeah. Oh well. All right. Yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying it. You're gonna have to just, just need to spend more time with it. Yeah. Do that. I'm going to go and play some more GTA. All right. Take care. See you later, bruv. Bye. Uh, see ya.